it's uh, full steam ahead while we've got good weather. I've snagged that and went through it, so tripped all the power. Fucking daft idiot, and then... No, you're not a daft idiot. The, the electrician should have been done like that. <sighs> So, what date is it today actually? Uh, fourth. Um, right. So, my plan for today, I've checked the weather app, whether it's going to be right or not, who knows. It should just be windy all day. So, my job is going to be trying to get as much as this, if not all of it, knocked out while assisting Dad. Because with the weather being okay, knock on wood. Um, Dad's gonna try and get that brick and block work done. Get those pikes up. Get those pikes done. Um, I'm also getting all the little charging stations set up because we're gonna be using a lot of batteries today. I'm gonna be using the the big beast breaker to get all this out. I'm gonna be using the Hoover. Dad's gonna be using the cutter. So it's uh, full steam ahead while we've got good weather. Fingers crossed it stays like that, because we can handle this kind of weather, as long as it's not wet. So I think my next job's get a mix in, and then get the last few things set up, and then I'll throw you up on time lapse. Right, today's speed bump. Everything. Today's speed bump is when um, I'm waiting for the roof bar. So while we're doing, waiting for that, we're in here. And then um, I've got up to the top, and the two joists are just different heights. Don't match up. So, God knows what's going on there. And what I'm going to do is instead of a um, Instead of propping this side, I'm going to put two, two, two low screws and put from joist to joist to hold them. There's these joists to hold the wall and that's it. And then these joists will just be holding these joists, these short joists. So a couple of screws in each just to tighten them up. They're probably uh, fixed anyway, but they also need to get a screw in these pieces. Try to fill in before that falls out. Okay. Alex, show me your mishap. Some poor workmanship. Not by you. Take my shot. As you can see here, this thing was in diagonally. And there's that, because this part wasn't even covered by the casing. Sheathing. Hmm? Sheathing. Sheathing. So. As I was breaking off this, I've snagged that and went through it, so tripped all the power. 
Fucking daft idiot, and then... No, you're not a daft idiot. The, the electrician would done like that. You didn't get electrocuted, luckily. No, it was just the power trips, but... Um, tripped out quick. Yeah, and these... These ones are no better either. They're not exactly vertical. They're all going off. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm hunting for cables now and exposing them before I continue, so I don't trip out again. Oh, man, it's timber floor in there. Why don't you take the cables under the floor? Yeah. Instead of up the wall. Oh, but there you go, it's a sluggish job. <laughs> at the very least, once it, once everything's out, it's ready for a steal at least. A lot to do. A lot. Mm-hmm. Two days to do it. So, well, this is going to be make a massive difference to the kitchen when this is all opened up. As it returns, probably, probably just past the way it's up there, so it sticks out there. So, um, Coming up to there with the flush of that wall, it's going to flush, and our steel goes 500 back into that wall, and it goes 250 back into this wall. So this here, flint layer of this door, this needs packing up with slate, because we can't take that out. Because our steel and pad stone are going to go in this, this area here. Uh, that steel's going to go back 250 on this side, and like 550 that side, so we need a long pad stone from berries, which customers are going to go and pick up with a bag of cement and something else but I can't remember at the moment but um, yeah. everything's covered up with the dust so it's just um, it's just a bit of a slug really I'm going to start working with a long time these screws in so we don't have to put the echoes up like I say that way we don't have to worry about getting the steel in and having the steel in the way so yeah, I'm going to get to find some screws and get these back in now in there, I'm going to put one in from the other side, there's a couple of stuff that brick falling down, as you can see that brick stain, that's what we're using, 90mm self tappers with a hex head on the um, we're just sailing with that, I know it's a cricket, yeah. brilliant, so we're going to do that with each one as we go along, so, the, so that all these joists are held, because they're only small, so yeah, Go outside and start. Oh, they sober up. Luckily. <sighs>
one down, one to go. Not for that, it's done. So this is having, it's having a, a rafter here. It's having three noggins, if you like, through onto this rafter. And this rafter is going to have four, three by two, out to the edge where the, I think the piece of timber and the fascia board is getting nailed on there. I'm not sure, but there's plenty of room for, to get the three by twos and then take the pickle on there. But then the three specific ones have actually come. So I just need to join this up, get everything off the scaffold, cover it, and get this put over there. And then we're going to have our dinner.
I never thought we'd see the day. He's done it. <laughs> so we've got basically three skins of pike up because he got the blocks up and then the bricks and the blocks on this side. So I'll, I'll push up to him so we can share the glory. Do a little reel then. Yeah. Back that up to this whole pike. That's our little tower. <laughs> Not the best, but it's done the job. So um, that's the actual building of the extension complete. We've just got another day inside now, getting that steel in. Uh, that steel there on the drive. Out there on our wheels. So I'm just going to get this covered up, make sure the cavity stays dry. And then I can drop this and we can tidy up inside here. Get this all spotless. That's the plan. So, yeah, let's get that done. Well, seems we, for, well, I forgot to film an outro again, so from from the office. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brick Cleaning with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next one.